everyone, and welcome to Rangeley, Maine. Um, this may look like the start of the Blair Witch Project, but it is actually a Pilates class. <laughs> I shot another class here yesterday morning, and I did it facing this direction, and it was beautiful. We had a mountain in the background. This direction, a little creepy with the dead tree sticking up out of the water. I feel like midway through class, everything will just go staticky and then the picture will cut out and you won't see anything, but you'll hear me scream and then the picture will come back in and it'll just be an empty mat here, okay? So this is how my horror movie starts. Anyway, I needed a little more space today, so we're filming facing this direction. Um, maybe you can do this class on Halloween and the setting will fit, it's a little creepy. So to class now, uh, we're gonna do a plies mat class. We're gonna use resistance a resistance band. I have two because I'm gonna switch between them. At first, I'm gonna use my lightest band because it's gonna be more upper body work. And then we're gonna move it around our thighs and I am going to opt to switch to my medium band for that one, okay? And as always, I'll link this resistance band loop set in the video description if you want it. Um, I like it because the light ones stretch really far. It's $12 set of six on Amazon. This isn't sponsored, just, just linking below. Um, in this Pilates class, for core work, we're not going to do a bunch of flexion-based core work. Instead, we're gonna focus on some bear plank-based movement. We will get into obliques, um, but it's more about stabilizing the spine in neutral than it is about doing a million ab curls today, all right? So more of a deep core focus, when we're, especially when we're doing center core. All right, so let's get right into our warm-up. You don't need your bands to start, but I want you to have your light band close by so that you can grab it once we're done warming up. We're gonna find a tabletop position, so I want you to spread out through the hands. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then from here, we're going to take our right elbow up to the ceiling as we twist open to the right. And now you're gonna thread right under left as you bring your cheek to the mat. Inhale, open twist, elbow reaches up. Exhale, close it, thread the needle. So we're mobilizing through the mid spine here. And now the next time you thread the needle, instead of threading the needle, I want you to take this right forearm down to the mat. I want you to take your left leg and I want you to reach it long and lift it to a hover. And now we're gonna take that left hip and we're gonna peel it open, stacking it on top of the right. And then we're going to pull it down, squaring it off to the floor. So we're peeling the pelvis open and squaring it off. So it's the left hip that's peeling open and closed, but what we're doing is we're rotating the pelvis around the right thigh. So we're warming up that right hip joint. Give me one more, we peel it open, we square it off, bring the knee down, press back up, and we're gonna do that same thing other side. So now on an inhale, your left elbow reaches up to the ceiling, open twist, and as you exhale, you thread the needle close, cheek to the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread it through. We inhale through the nose. We exhale slowly out through the mouth. Now one more, and this time instead of threading the needle, you're gonna take that left form and you're gonna plant it down on the mat. You're going to take your right leg and you're gonna reach it long behind. You're gonna take that right hip, you're gonna peel it open, stacking on top of the left. Oh, that feels good, and square it off. Peel it open and square it off. So it's the pelvis rotating around that left thigh bone. Twice more. Last time, peel it open, square it off, knees down, come up to straight arms. Let's take it into a cat cow. So as you inhale, we're gonna find spinal extension. Your gaze shifts up, tailbone reaches up. As you exhale, you press the mat away. You round the spine up towards the sky. Inhale, extension. Exhale, think of filling the space between your shoulder blades. As we inhale through the nose, the rib cage can expand. We relax through the pelvic floor. As we exhale out through the mouth, there's that gentle brace of the abdominal wall, a little lift of the pelvic floor. Give me one more here. And then I want you to elongate the spine through neutral and I want you to walk your hands forward about six inches. We're gonna keep that kind of cat cow going, but we're gonna add in a rock back and forward. So as we round the sky of the spine up to the sky, I want you to shift your hips back towards a child's pose. And then we're gonna to start to rock forward, uncurling the spine, dropping the hips, finding spinal extension, open through the chest. Exhale, round the spine and shift it back. 
Inhale, rock it forward, lower the hips, uncurl the spine into that gentle extension. One more time. I want you to take it back into a child's pose and I want you to relax there for a second. So bum to your heels. You can flip your palms up to the ceiling, forehead to the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Prepare yourself for class. We're going to grab that light resistance band. It's going to go around our forearms. And we're going to work hard through this flow. One more breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And then let's find that light band. So I'm going to put it around my forearms, just a couple inches above the wrists. And we're going to find that bear plank position again. Really spread out through the hands. We're going to plant them under our shoulders. Knees are going to stay down to start in this tabletop. And all I want you to do is step one hand out about an inch to the side, back and under your shoulders, and then over to the other side. So it's a little side step. Right and center to the left and center. We're maintaining a neutral spine here. And we're maintaining length of the back of the neck throughout all this tabletop work, okay? So if your gaze is at your knees, that neck is not in a neutral alignment. You want to think length, reach it long. Gaze should be kind of straight down at your mat. Now coming up, hands are going to stay under shoulders, and we're going to take this into a little tricep press. Again, we're going to keep our knees down to start. We gradually build up the intensity, but we want to start with kind of the foundational movements. Give me one more side step to the right to the left and then in center, I want you to wrap the backs of your arms back so that the creases of your elbows point forward. And we're gonna go into a tricep dip, bending the elbows towards our thighs and straightening them. Those elbows go straight back so they're not bowing out to the side. We have tension on that band, forms are staying parallel. So it's very important, those creases of the elbows point forward. We're open through the chest, it's a little dip, bending the elbows, press to straighten. Now we're going to ramp up the challenge here. And I want you to know that we break up this tabletop work with some kneeling work in a hinged position. So there are breaks for your wrists built in, okay? One more tricep dip here. And then with the arms straight, I want you to tuck your toes under. We inhale to prepare. As you exhale, feel that 360 wrap around brace of the abdominal wall and lift your knees to a two inch hover. As you inhale, you're going to lower your knees back down. Exhale, first feel the brace of the abdominal wall, then lift the knees to your bear plank. Inhale to lower them back down. Keep going like that, moving with our breath. Because we are moving with our breath, this does not have to be fast. Slow it down as much as necessary. Now the next time you lift up into that bear plank, you're gonna hold. And I want you to just hold in this bear plank, continuing to breathe, pressing the mat away so we're stable with the shoulders. We're not sinking down towards the mat, laying through the back of our neck, practicing that diaphragmatic breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're going to repeat those two upper body exercises we did with our knees down. So let's start with that little side step. One hand steps to the side, back through center. Other side, little step and in, pressing against the band, side and center as you stabilize through the core at any point. If this gets to be too much, you lower your knees down. Tricep dips coming up. Give me one more little step to either side. Stop with your hands right under the shoulders. Wrap the backs of your arms towards your thighs. Bend and press little tricep dips down and up. Now make sure your butt doesn't start to pike up to the ceiling too much. So you want to keep those knees just a couple inches from the mat. Staying open through the chest. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. You have a wrist break in three. Knees come down in two. Last one, arms are straight, lower the knees, untuck the toes. Slide your hips back so they're hovering over the heels and then lift up so that we are in this hinged position. Your palms are facing in towards your thighs. We're gonna go into a wide row. Pressing apart on the band, you're gonna draw the elbows back and you're gonna send them forward. 
So as you row those elbows back, I want you to think of retracting the shoulder blades in towards each other. And as the elbows go back, we don't jut the neck forward. So keep the neck at neutral. Now we're gonna keep this row going, but we're gonna add in a rotation. So as your arms go forward, I want you to rotate palms facing towards each other. As you row, palms face your thighs. Rotate. We're gonna hold with the arms forward, palms facing in, give me one more row. Arms are straight, palms face in, and it's a little pulse. Pulling apart in the band, apart in the band. So this is your little wrist break. We're gonna go back into some tabletop work, but we're gonna isolate one side and it's gonna be a quick little section. Pulse four, pulse three, hold in two, hold. Now with tension on the band, I just want you to lift the arms up and lower them down. Woo, keep pressing apart on the band, lift it up, lower it down. You're gonna let the band go slack for a second before we go into our next section. Next time those arms go overhead, hold them overhead. Little pull apart here. Make sure you're not flaring open through the ribs. Your arms don't have to be all the way overhead. Maybe they're just parallel to the floor. Pulse four, three, two, one. Lower the arms, come to a full kneel and just let the band go slack and give me some shoulder shrugs. Okay, spread out through those hands. We're back in our tabletop position, okay? So from here, we're gonna do a bird dog. I want you to keep your hands planted right as they are, okay? We're gonna focus on extending the right leg out on an exhale. So we inhale to prepare, exhale through the brace through your core without shifting your hips. We're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna kick it straight back behind us. As we inhale, we return that right knee back down. As that leg straightens, we're not arching into the lower back, we're maintaining neutral. So instead we're thinking of firing through the glutes and the quads to straighten the leg. Now I want you to notice as that right leg kicks straight, are you dumping your left hip out to the side? Don't do that. So we wanna think of keeping the left hip pretty much right over that left knee as we do this. So you might need to shift a little added weight into your right hand. Focusing on diaphragmatic breathing and deep core here. So initiate the breath, feel the gentle engagement of the abdominal wall, then move the leg. Now, next time that leg goes straight, I want you to hold it straight at the hover. Equal length through both sides of the waist so we haven't shifted through the pelvis. Now I want you to wrap the backs of your arms back towards you. We're gonna do a tricep dip, down and up, keeping that right leg lifted. So you're gonna kind of look like a seesaw here. As the elbows bend, that leg will go a little higher because it's following the angle of the upper body. So think from top of head to that right heel, one long line. Now I don't want you to peel open through the hips. So keep pulling that right hip down level with the left. We're gonna ramp up the intensity a little bit, coming up. Give me two more here. Last one. Come to straight arms. Now I want you to lower the ball of that right foot down to the mat. I want you to tuck your left toes under as well. On an exhale, you're gonna lift up into this kind of funky sprinter shape, okay? So it's a bear plank. And now let's go back to lift. We're gonna lift and lower the right leg. So you lift it up. Inhale to lower the ball of the foot back down. Exhale, brace through the core, lift and lower. If this is too much with your left knee at a hover, then you're gonna lower that left knee back down. We're gonna do one more round of those tricep dips with the leg lifted, this time in that bear plank position on the left. So next time your right leg kicks up, hold it. Go back to your tricep dips down and up. Woo, so that left quad working hard, left quads plural, I should say. <laughs> it's a group of muscles. Give me four, three, two, one, bend both knees in, lower them down. We're going into round two of that kneeling hinge work. You can untuck the toes. So we're gonna start with palms facing the thighs and we do that wide row back and forward. So we have another little wrist break here, back and out. We're gonna keep the row going, but add in the rotation. Palms face in when the arms are straight, palms face your thighs as the elbows row back. It's gotta adjust my band, there we go. 
Second time through this little flow, we'll go a little quicker, okay? I know the arms are starting to get tired. Next time those arms go straight, hold palms facing towards each other. It's a little pull apart on the band, like a little reverse fly pulse. Maintaining neutral through the spine. In four, hold in three, in two, hold tension on the band, lift the arms up and lower. You got it. Woo, upper body is talking to me. Next time arms go overhead, hold them overhead. Don't flare open through the ribs and little pulse out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna lower the palms down. We're gonna do the other side. So spread out through the hands. They stay planted to start. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, now it's the left leg that presses back. Inhale to lower it back down. You are done with your tabletop work after this, okay? We'll move into side body work. As the leg presses straight, you're firing into the left side glutes and firing the left side quads to straighten the leg. We're not increasing the arch to our lower back. That stays neutral, so that is why it's so important to initiate with that gentle brace of the abdominal wall. Next time that leg goes straight, hold it straight. Creases of your elbows, point forward, tricep dips. Keep reaching long through the legs, you're active through the quads. Your body should look kind of like a seesaw with this right knee down as the base. Two more. Pause with your arms straight. Ball of the left foot plants down, that leg is straight. Tuck your right toes under. On an exhale, lift that right knee up to a two inch hover. Let's go back to lifting and lowering our left leg. Lift, fire through the glutes, lower. We're gonna hold that leg at a hover, tricep dips to finish. Next time that leg lifts, hold, creases of the elbows, point forward, tricep dips, down and up. You can always drop your right knee down if it's too much at a hover. Give me four, three, two, one. Both knees down to the mat. You can remove the band. We don't need our light one anymore. We're gonna to switch to have the band around our thighs. But first, why don't we just take a few shoulder rolls. Woo. So now we're gonna shift the focus into side body. It's gonna be obliques. We're also gonna get outer hips and glutes, okay? This is gonna be a longer uh, section and it's gonna kind of switch between moments where the obliques are really working hard and then moments where it's more outer hips and lower body focused. So I'm gonna take my medium band and I'm going to place it around my thighs, a few inches above the knees. The mosquitoes are bad. I'm gonna be eaten alive by the end of this class. All right, so now we're going to come, you're gonna mirror me. So let's have our left forearm down and we're going to start with a combo, but first let's just get in the setup position. So your knees are slightly forward, your hips are back, and then your elbow is kind of forward in line with your knees, okay? So think knees and elbows in line, hips back so that we can hinge them forward and back up, okay? And I should probably scoot back all together. All right, now from this position, we're gonna press them out away so we're stable through this bottom shoulder. Shoulders get a lot of love today. And we're gonna do a little combo. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna to start to, from this position, roll to the side of our left butt cheek as the knees lift up. You're gonna kick the legs straight, so we're in the side V position, and then you're gonna just pulse apart on the band. Now you're gonna bend the knees as you roll back to our starting position, and then we're gonna lift up into a side plank, pressing the hips forward. I know it's a lot, go slowly through it. Hips lower down. We roll to the side of our butt as we straighten those legs. Pulse apart on the band. Knees bend, come to our starting position. Lift up, pressing the top leg up, pushing against the band there. So just continue to move through this combo. So 
So when you lift up into this modified side plank, your hips are coming forward and up. We're gonna go through the combo a couple more times, but then we're just gonna focus on that lift up into the side plank. It's obliques, but it's gonna be glute medius too, side of your butt. So let's do one more in the combo. Roll to the side of our butt cheek, straighten those legs, pull apart. We're gonna roll back into our starting position. And now let's just do the lift and lower up into that modified side plank and down. Pushing against the band with the top leg. Hips come forward and up. Next time you lift them up, let's hold them up. And I just want you to pulse up with that top leg. Reach the hips up to the ceiling. They're stacked one on top of the other. It's a little pulse. Up and up. So throughout this flow, it's really left and right side outer hips that are working. We're gonna lower the hips down to our starting position after a hold in four, three, hold in two, one, just hold here. Keep pushing up against the band. We're gonna lower the hips down into that starting position, so don't lower them straight down. Again, it's a hinge. Three, in two, one, lower the hips down. Again, knee, elbow in line, hips a little far back. Now I want you to squeeze your heels together and I want you to lift that bottom heel up. We're gonna clamshell the top leg, keeping the bottom heel lifted, okay? So it's a clamshell on this right side, but the left side is working here too. Keep the heel lifted, pushing against the band. Now, as you do this, you're not rocking through the pelvis. So it's the thigh rotating within the hip joint, but keep your hips stacked. We're very active through the side body, so we're not sinking down towards the mat, push away. So think of this space as a nice, strong triangle. We're gonna make this clamshell a little more dynamic, lifting and lowering the bottom heel. So as the top leg closes, lower everything down to the mat, everything lifts and opens. God, I should have worn bug spray. Now I want you to think back to our original combo that we started this side body section with. We're going to do something very similar, but with the legs open and this kind of diamond shape, this clamshell shape. So next time you lift up, I want you to hold it lifted with the knees open. Now from here, just like we started with, we're gonna to start to roll to the side of our butt cheek. Keep the knees open, keep the knees open, keep the heels pressing in. We're on the side of our butt cheek. Now I want you to press those legs straight. They're externally rotated, so heels together, toes point out. You're going to bend them back in, in this diamond shape. We're going to roll to the side. Think of tapping that left knee down to the mat. And we roll to the side of our butt cheek. We press. Tap. Keep going like that. So the heels stay off the mat the whole time. A little funky, I know. Two more. This time when you roll to your side, you're gonna hold on your side, you're gonna press those legs out, and it's a little straight leg, pulse apart on the band. We're still externally rotated within the hip joint, so heels point into each other, toes point out. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, lower them down. Let's take a counter stretch Woo. for this left shoulder. Awesome work. So we're gonna do that side series on the other side. So let's flip it around. The setup is important because we kind of build off of that starting position. So your right form is going to be down. Knees are bent, but not all the way at a 90 degree angle. And you wanna think knees and elbow in one line, and then the hips are behind that line. But when we lift up into the side plank, the hips will come forward and they'll match that line. All right, so let's start with our combo. We're gonna to roll to the side of our right butt cheek, coming into the side V shape. We're gonna straighten those legs. You're gonna pulse apart on the band. You're gonna bend the knees as you roll back to the side of your hip into our starting position. Hips lift forward and up as you come into this modified side plank, pushing against the band. Hips lower back down. Roll to the side of our butt cheek. Kick those legs straight. Keep moving like this.
Well, so far, so good. This has not turned into a Stephen King novel, as creepy as that dead tree behind me is. I tried hard to move it. I was like pulling on the branch, trying to drag it to the side of the lake, but it's in there good. Oops, I'm forgetting to pull apart on the band when the legs are straight. This is a pretty involved combo, so if you miss a part, not a big deal. One more time through this combo, and then we're just going to focus on the side plank work. So when you return to that starting position, it's just going to be that lift up and lower down. Your hips slide back, your hips slide forward, squeezing into the glutes. If it's too much to do this with the band, you can always do a body weight. Next time your hips lift up, we're gonna hold at the top. And it's just a little pulse of the top leg, pushing against the band. Keep the hips lifted, don't sink into this bottom shoulder. We're gonna move into our clamshell work next, but first we have a hold in four, pulse three, pulse two, hold. Push against that band, you got it. We're gonna be in that starting position, bottom heel will lift in four, three, Two, one, lower the hips down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do that clamshell, but first I'm gonna take your bottom right heel, lift it up, and then it's the top left leg, that clamshell's open. Again, very active through the side body. As far as the lower body goes, right and left side are both working here. Let's make it a little more dynamic. So as you close, everything lowers and we lift and open. Lower parallel, lift and externally rotate without letting this hip roll back. So we're not opening up yet. We'll get to that roll. So we kind of start the, we finish the way we started with that combo. So next time you open up into this lifted clamshell, hold the position, keep pushing out on the band, start to roll to the side of your butt cheek, press those legs straight, they're externally rotated, heels together, toes apart. Bend and open, roll it back so that your right knee taps the mat, and then side of your butt cheek. So the heels are staying lifted the whole time. Two more. Last time, we're gonna hold in that side V position. Press the legs straight and it's a little pulse apart on the band. Your legs are externally rotated, so toes point out, heels in. So think of wrapping the thigh outward. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Let's take a counter stretch for that right shoulder. All right, so we have one section of class to go, okay? We're gonna finish with some glute bridge work and then we cool it down, you got it. So we're gonna come onto our back, keep the band where it is around your thighs, a couple inches above the knees. I'm actually gonna spin around just so that you don't have to look at my mic pack. <laughs> okay, so coming down onto the mat, your feet are hips distance apart. Here under knees, don't walk them in too close to your butt, okay? Arms down by your side, they're gonna press firmly into the floor. We're gonna keep tension on the band, okay? So we're not gonna let the knees cave inward. Let's start with just a lift and lower of the hips as you exhale, hips lift up, inhale the lower. So this is a longer glute bridge series, but it's one and done, okay? We don't repeat it. We go through it once and then you cool down. 
As you lift the hips up, think about maintaining a neutral spine. So we don't flare open through the ribs and let our butt hang down, creating this arch to the lower back. Instead, you think reach tailbone towards your knees. Push your feet into the floor as the hips lift up. We're gonna hold the hips at the top. We're gonna take it into a pulse. So next time those hips go up, just make the movement a little smaller. Down an inch or two, up an inch or two. I still want you to think of elongating or relaxing through the glutes as you lower those couple inches, contracting or shortening through the glutes as you lift the hips. Next time the hips go up, I want you to hold them lifted. I want you to pulse apart on the band. So you're just pushing your knees out. It's okay to roll to the outer edge of your foot slightly as you do so. Hips are lifted, push out, out. We're gonna challenge the lower leg. We're gonna add in a calf raise, holding the thighs parallel in four, three, two, one. Keep the hips lifted, thighs are parallel. And from here you lift the heels, and lower, lift, and lower. So we're gonna repeat those movements, but with our heels lifted up next. I just want you to lift them to a slight hover, so like an inch, inch and a half. I don't want you to lift the heels so high that the ankles lock out, okay? So lift to that small hover, and now let's go to our full range hip lifts. Down and all the way up. Heels at that small hover. Try not to roll all the weight to the outer edge of your foot, Really keep the big toe planted down, okay? Next time the hips are up, take it to your pulse. Heels are still lifted. Next time you pulse the hips up, hold them up, and I'll pulse out on the band, out on the band. Hips stay lifted. We're gonna hold the thighs parallel. We're gonna move between heels up and ball of the foot up, kind of rocking through the ankle. In four, three, two, one. Thighs are parallel. Now you're gonna drop the heels and lift the ball of your foot. Lower the ball of the foot, lift the heels. So you're rocking through the ankle. Keep pushing the hips up to the ceiling. So you have one more set to get through. We'll repeat all of that, this time with the balls of the feet lifted, okay? Next time the balls of the feet lift, hold them lifted. Hips lower down and up. So it's just your heels that are down, okay? But don't over pull through the toes or things might get a little crampy. So you almost think of relaxing the toes a bit and just pulling through the ball of your foot up. You're gonna hold the hips at the top and pulse. Down a couple inches, up a couple inches. Now this time when we pulse apart on the band, it's gonna be a little different. You're gonna kind of swivel on your heels and you're gonna think of externally rotating the whole leg within the hip joint. So next time the hips go up, hold them up. Now I want you to kind of swivel on the heels as you push out on the band and then bring them back through center. So picture like a black and white detective film where they're kind of snubbing out a cigarette butt with their heel. That's kind of what we're doing here. You're externally rotating as you push apart on the band. Keep pushing the hips up. Now next time you externally rotate, pushing apart on the band, hold it apart and pulse the hips to finish, down and up. Knees are wide, toes are angled outward because we've swiveled open. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I want you to lower those hips down. I want you to remove the band, placing it off to the side. And I want you to hug your knees in wide towards your armpits and just give me a little rock side to side. Awesome work.
We're going to take this into a twist. So what I want you to do is take your left ankle, cross it over the right. So we're in this figure four shape, but with the right foot on the ground. And then we're going to drop the whole shape over to the right until our left foot plants down on the floor. So we get this nice outer hip stretch through the left. If you don't feel it, you need to hop the whole shape up a little closer to your armpit. And we can cactus the elbows that were open through the chest here. Just take a few breaths. And coming through center, Let's switch the cross and do it the other way. So now right crosses over left, and we're gonna drop the whole shape over to the left until that right foot plants down. Hop the shape up or down as needed to increase or decrease the intensity of the outer hip stretch. Let's come through center when you're ready. Let's take a happy baby. So if happy baby is too intense, just hug the knees into your armpits like this. If you're up for it though, you grab the outer edges of the feet and you pull the knees in towards your armpits. Might feel good to hold in stillness or to rock a little side to side. Releasing the feet when you're ready. Let's just finish by laying down so you can stretch your legs long and kind of let them flop out to the side if that feels good. Arms down by your side, palms up. And let's just take a few breaths here, noticing how your body feels. Enjoying this slightly creepy but pretty view of Maine. <laughs> One more breath. And then you can bend one knee, bring your hands behind the thigh, and use it to rock yourself up to a seated position. That is your class. I hope you're feeling good after that. I know I am. Um, and I will see you next time. If you like these sort of destination classes, I filmed another one here in Maine with a slightly less creepy background. And I also filmed one on the beach um, on Martha's Vineyard where I'm from. And those are available on Patreon right now. If you enjoyed class, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new classes here every week, sometimes more frequently, and I'll see you next time. <music>